you, you, you seem to be drawn to the very people that, that some churches act like they don't want. See, so, some churches only want the elite and the upper echelon of the society, and they want Miss Simmons, this Bojo Jones. But you, don't, you sound like you don't mind getting down in the trenches and getting your hands dirty and working with people. Yes, sir. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This crowd is on tonight. Yeah, they're on tour. They're, they're ready on. for it. But Jesus said, I came to seek and save that which is lost. Mm -hmm. It's the whole that don't need a physician. Mm -hmm. There is somebody that knows there's better for them. Mm -hmm. There is somebody that realize I'm down, but I'm not staying down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Yeah. And so when we start lifting up the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. there's something that people hear in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You remember blind Bartimaeus, he was blind, mm -hmm. but he heard Jesus was passing by. <laughs> and when he heard Jesus was passing by, he knew his breakthrough was coming. <laughs> he knew his help was coming. <laughs> And so that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm. I lift up the name of Jesus. It's not about me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I know Jesus has something for the AIDS victim. Mm -hmm. I know Jesus has something for the crack addict. Mm -hmm. I know Jesus has something for the cancer patient. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel insufficient because it's not me. Uh -huh. I'm lifting up Jesus. I see. I see. I see. I see. And I'm telling you, it literally is the best feeling in the world to know you're being used by God. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. When, when I was in Charleston, I, I can't remember, it's maybe been a year or two years ago, and, and, and I came uh, down the street uh, over by your church, and you were having like, you turned your parking lot into a street party. Yes, sir. <laughs> and all of the community had jammed up in your parking lot. And, and tell us about what you were doing with that and what your philosophy is about the church, not only pastoring the members, but affecting the community. Yes, sir. There, there has to be a, a drawing of the community. We have to reach out to youth. Young people don't come to church for the same reason we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with all the options mm -hmm. that young people have, so you have to have something to draw them. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible, David said that, that he was called to his own generation. Mm -hmm. So I'm not called to pastor in the 50s mm -hmm. and the 60s. Watch I'm out. called to pastor now. Right. And so I don't have a problem with the children rapping as long as they're rapping about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I figure if they can learn Snoop Dogg and Jay-Z, they can learn Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And so what we do, I use those things as bait. Mm -hmm. Because if I can get you in here, I can tell you about Jesus. Absolutely. But you have to have something to draw them. You have to have something to pull them in. Mm -hmm. And so every venue we have is just bait. Mm -hmm. But the goal is to tell them about Jesus. We have a mission. We have a message mm -hmm. that does not change. Mm -hmm. The mission is to go out into the whole world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The message is Jesus saves from the guttermost to the uttermost. Yes, yes, yes. But our method, our method. has to adapt mm -hmm. to the society that we're in. Absolutely. So we have to let people know you can be saved and have fun. Oh, you got a big amen on that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I, I tell people that, that I'm saved and I have a life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and so, see, I think one of the mistakes that the church makes is we preach salvation as if get saved because you're going to die. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I believe in salvation because get saved because you're going to live. Yeah, 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 yeah. How much, how much of an advantage, because I really believe being a Christian and being a believer has been a huge advantage to me in life, in business, as a husband, as a father. I don't think I would have been successful at any of it without Christ in my life. Yes, Do you sir. feel that way too? Bishop, a real anointing, mm -hmm. a real anointed word will change every area of your life. Mm -hmm. A real anointing 
a true anointing, mm -hmm. will pick you up mm -hmm. and make you be a better mother, a better father, mm -hmm. a better employee, mm -hmm. a better business owner. I mean, you start becoming creative. God will speak to you if you listen to yeah, him. Yeah. God will speak to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? <laughs> Go <on> with it. <laughs> I believe the key is listening to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then just repeating or doing what he told you to do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Don't Absolutely. vary. Don't deviate. Absolutely. Just do what he told you. Absolutely. Absolutely. When, when you get away from the church and the crowd, and I know that you're married and you have children, that sort of thing, how do you spell relief? What, what do you do, you know, <laughs> when, when you're chilling out to refuel? I know prayer is a part of it, but just as a guy, mm -hmm. do you ever, like, just, like, chill? Bishop, I, Bishop, Did I the can. Bishop say chill. We're <laughs> <laughs> cool, we're cool. Yeah. Bishop, I can vacate with the best of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I can vacate with. There was. A, there was. And a, how important is that? To that you? is extremely important to recharge the battery. Even God rested. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And God didn't rest because He was tired. Mm -hmm. God rested because He was showing us a pattern mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that we have to come apart. There, really, it really isn't. See, I believe God is a God of order. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I believe divine order is God first. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, mm -hmm. and all these things will be added unto you. But I believe that the family is second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then the church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because God instituted the family mm -hmm. in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. He didn't institute the church mm -hmm. until the book of Acts. Absolutely. <laughs> Go ahead, boy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we do have to have order mm -hmm. and sometimes, like you say, chill, mm -hmm. just relax. And like I said, I'm a man mm -hmm. first. And I think when we try to give people a false image right. of what, it's, what it means to be saved, mm -hmm. because people know we're hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the thing about me, I don't believe everything people tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I try to be nice and smile, but I'm thinking, I don't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe you. Can we get a good amen? <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you learned as a pastor that you could pass on to other pastors uh, who are in the trenches, whose um, the finances are not right, the economy might be bad, maybe yes, uh, some people are jumping around looking for the magic church. Yes, sir. You know, they're just looking for the magic church, you know. Yes, and, 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 and there are many pastors that get heartbroken uh, when people leave, or uh, they're, they're not, they got called to preach not to manage a budget. Yes, sir. And yet they find themselves having to get involved in businesses in the areas that they're not anointed. Would you speak to those pastors and leaders and just, just challenge them and encourage them right, right in the camera? Yes, sir. Can I, I want to say a couple of things. Number one is there is a business side to church. We have to accept that. So you have to be a reader. Mm -hmm. You can't lead if you don't read, mm -hmm. if you're not willing to grow. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you cannot be dominated by people. One of the things I found out is you can do more with less people mm -hmm. going in the same direction mm -hmm. than you can with a lot of people mm -hmm. going in different directions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. The first scripture I learned, my mother used to walk through the house saying, if God be for you, he's more than the whole world against you. Mm -hmm. And so you have to realize, okay, there can only be one vision. That's why it's important to spend time with God. But when you know God told you what it is you have to do, mm -hmm. then you just have to stick to it mm -hmm. and let God bring everything else to pass. Absolutely. Because, see, another, another thing is, I know with, with me, one of the, the, the shocking things to me, I think, is that we get confused when it comes to, to talent mm -hmm. and skill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talent is something we are born with. Okay. Mm -hmm. But skill is something that has to be developed. Okay. All right. And you have to work on it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. You have to grow. Mm -hmm. You have to develop. You have to hone it. And there were, we started out with two people. Mm -hmm. Just my wife and I. Wow. No uh, choir. <laughs> no uh, music. I was the choir. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. I was the praise and worship team. And I made up in my mind that, okay, I may not be the best preacher. Mm -hmm. I may not be the best singer. But I'm not going to let anybody out pray me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let anybody out fast me. Mm -hmm. And when you don't have a choir, when you don't have a fancy building, you better have a word. <laughs> That's shouting stuff right you better there. better have a word. That's shouting stuff right there. And so what, what, I, what I would do, Bishop, I, I worked at FedEx full time mm -hmm. and trying to start a church. Mm -hmm trying to put everything I had into building this ministry. Mm -hmm. Because part of you, part of me, was like, I don't want to fail. Mm -hmm. And that's a motivation. Mm -hmm. But the other part was, I know that God called me to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I would go to bed with my wife, and when she would go to sleep, I would get up. Mm -hmm. And I would study, mm -hmm. and I would pray. I would pray sometimes and study sometimes, Bishop, till sometimes I felt like throwing up because I would be tired. Mm -hmm. But I had to have a word mm -hmm. on Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. And God honored it. Oh, he yes. honored that word. Yeah. And he still yes. does. Yeah. Because I'm sitting yes. here right now with a word. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely, 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 absolutely. I'm excited. Uh, I've known you for a long time, known you for many, many years, pastored you for many, many years, seen you serve in many, many different lights, but there is a, there is a freshness and there is an anointing that is exuding off of you right now. Can't be faked, can't be imitated. You either have it or you do yes, not. Sir. Yes, sir. And you have it. Yes, sir. Now... For, I, I want you to put his address on the screen for, for more information. There are many, many people who need that kind of anointing. Uh, there are many, many souls out there that need that kind of pastor who still prays for a word yes, and studies for a word. Because I'm seeing so many shake and bake guys out there today who, who, who drive by a sign that says, do not turn right. And that becomes a sermon when they get to church. I mean, it, and you cannot feed God's people that way. You, you want to get a hold of that information. If you're anywhere near Charleston, you want to get a hold of that information information and, and consider this ministry. What, what is your vision? We're almost out of time. So j just give me a capsulized vision of what you want to see God do in your city. I want to impact my city, my community, and my state for the glory of God. I don't believe in black church. I don't believe in white church. I don't believe in Hispanic church. I believe there's just one church. And I want to see... In, in our city and in our state, there really is a problem. There really is an issue of racism. Mm -hmm. What I would like to see is the races come together, united under the blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's the thing I want to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I want, I want to catch the young people before they get involved in the penal system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's hard work once they're in it mm -hmm. to try to get them out of it. Mm -hmm. So I want to catch them before they get in. I want to catch them at an early age and teach them about Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Children's ministry it is very, very important. I want to encourage you to uh, get this information, consider calling him and, and inviting him in the ministry. There's an anointing on his life. I want to thank you for coming and blessing us. I've been blessed. Have you all been blessed? Give it up for Pastor Wayne Crozier. God bless you. Thank God for you.